Lei Wer, Li Emperor's Protection. So what exactly is Li Emperor's Royal Guard? The Can Cousins present Star Wars Lore Episode 54, The Emperor's Royal Guard. The Royal Guards were chosen by Darth Sidious himself to act as his protection. Just like the clones of the Republic's Grand Army, the Guards would follow orders without hesitation and were happy to give their lives to serve the Emperor. However, some guards got power hungry and so plotted attacks on fellow colleagues and even the Emperor himself. After Darth Sidious' death, many royal guards believed their duties were relieved. <laughs> royal guards served many people at times and had different roles. They would protect anyone the Emperor specified and even top secret and important facilities. To protect the Sith Lord from assassins, the guards could be tasked with being assassins. There would always be two guards by the Emperor's side, unless he was on the toilet I'm guessing. To not limit the admirations for his protectors, Sidious introduced a ranking system. With nearly impossible goals, they struggled to reach them, which did amuse the Emperor. However, his guards always remained determined and motivated. <laughs> the Emperor's Royal Shadow Guards were an elite group of Royal Guards. They wore black versions of the Royal Guard's armour and were hardly seen in public as they were dispatched on top secret missions. Some of these guards were even force sensitive and were trained to use the dark side of the force. Sidious wanted to create more elevated positions but died before he could. This meant that the highest rank of the Royal Guard division was the Imperial Sovereign Protectors. They were dark side trained force sensitives who used vibroblades to kill their foes. The Royal Guards were very mysterious characters. Even though they were an elite fighting force, many speculated that it was all just propaganda and they were not great fighters at all. Not all rumours were bad however, as many said that no guard ever died in battle. So how did the Royal Guards come about? Well after an attempt was made on Palpatine's life, Red Guards were tasked with protecting him. All the guards were skilled in combat and were chosen from the Senate Commandos. They served the Chancellor well, but were not able to stop General Grievous from kidnapping Palpatine shortly before the battle over Coruscant. As the Galactic Republic became the Galactic Empire, the Red Guards became Royal Guards. Some members of the Sun Guard joined the Emperor's Shadow Guard. Not long before the Battle of Yavin, an attempt was made on Sidious' life. However, the Guards did their job and killed many of the rebelling Stormtroopers. After the Emperor's demise, the Royal Guard dispersed throughout the galaxy. Some served those claiming Imperial power, whilst others served powerful warlords. Many Guardsmen actually committed mass suicides with the news of the Emperor's death. Remember to vote for next week's episode by linking one of the two comments below. If you want to learn more about someone or something from the Star Wars Universe, leave a comment. And for more Star Wars lore, keep it locked here. To the Kankazans. In the name of the Galactic Senate of the Republic, you are under arrest, Chancellor. Are you threatening me, Master Jedi? The Senate will decide your fate. I am the Senate. I have waited a long time for this moment, my little green friend.